I think it was Madeleine Albright who said that there's a special place in hell for women who don't help other women and not feel that they have to uh, that they have to compete with men. It shouldn't be a competition. Um, mm. uh, it should rather be a collaboration. collaboration. Don't think that you have to be the perfect everything um, at home and at work. How do you engage different people, especially mm -hmm. Vietnamese, you know, like mm -hmm. you said, and staff? And we point out in so many, you know, stories when we work in different uh, the level, different um, working environment, seeing that so many things we can list out mm -hmm. as the Vietnamese were forced. And one of them is the way, the blame game. Mm -hmm. Seeing that uh, we, you know, especially women, I can talk about myself about that sometime I feel like I cannot get to what I want some goal that I had planned I want to be perfect at work and then at home I want to be a perfect mom and and, and wife and I, I cannot do that and 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 I'm obsessed stress and I complain all the time and blame something so um, that's just one of the example and at the very day life we talk to each other mm -hmm. so how we can get away from that negative you know feeling mm -hmm. because that obviously impact what we having mm -hmm. and how to get through the fact that you have to work with so many people to do some things mm -hmm. you know just one of like example mm -hmm. uh, if talking about some challenge mm -hmm. that you have when you braid with that kind of a journey or effort yeah. yeah yeah well I think you know empathy and understanding is really important so you need to be able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes to get to the bottom of an issue and one of the I guess ways that we try to address it within our team was to say how do you engage everybody on this issue men and women and so we used a couple of like fun techniques like role playing mm. so we set up a scenario mm. where everybody took a role so we stepped away from our own role yeah and we stepped into maybe a situation where um, um, an older member of the family had difficulties with a younger member of the family mm. um, going to study abroad or taking up a new exciting opportunity on the basis that it was a girl and that she should stay home and uh, and it was too dangerous for her to go abroad. And I think it was really, well, mm. first of all, it was very funny because we had different people playing <laughs> different roles. Putting yourself in somebody else's shoes, I think, I think that's a really good mm. way. Um, and then I think, you know, no point in getting angry and getting frustrated. If I think sometimes, you know, there's a lot of things said in gender equity, like, oh, we should engage men more, and we should. But we also need to engage women to, um, yes. to, to, to manage expectations of one another, because I think there can be a tendency for women to um, uh, not to um, have the conversation and mm. uh, to say, oh, we can, you know, we can do it all, or, uh, you know, not to, not to be enabling themselves. And I mm. think... Um, I think it was Madeleine Albright who said that there's a special place in hell for women who don't help other women. Mm. And so I think we have a special responsibility as women, mm. but also men have a special responsibility. Uh, yeah. Because gender equity is not a women's issue. Uh, mm. It's a human. It's a human issue. Mm. Yeah. I think it's perfect idea about role playing, but. Obviously, look at at what we have at work. Mm -hmm. Let let think about that. It's just role playing when you the embassies already have some efforts, and in order to change a person, it's really take time. Mm -hmm. If there is a put in the head, mm -hmm. how you could would identify those who actually not really buy the idea of gender equity, mm -hmm. but then of course in in participating and how you can identify the individual who are not getting in it. So. It, later we might be we will be able to engage that person yeah. how how the specific you know effort would look like yeah yeah sometimes i think people need to be incentivized mm. um you know into understanding why why it's an important issue and i think mm. that's where data can come in very very usefully mm. so if you look at it in the business context you know why is it important to have you know women in your senior leadership team what qualities do women bring that are important mm -hmm. um, and I think on a purely business proposition that can act as a really powerful um, incentive for change right. because actually it makes economic sense. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly the perfect uh, stand because to be honest, what, what we've been doing so far with a lot of campaign, with a lot of uh, political pressure mm -hmm. and a lot of you know work has been done in order to just tell this business 
or a business owner, mm. business leader about why you have to do good, why you have to treat your 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 employees in a good way, why you have to sometimes to bring in gender equity mm-hmm. and economic sense. It sounds to be the perfect fit mm-hmm. when actually the peoples from the size need to speak the language mm-hmm. that the business actually talk. Mm-hmm. So we have to bring in the concept of cost of any of risk or conflict mm-hmm. or any problem that they see if there's any a gap between say in gender equity happening it's come up with uh, the real problem that the company cannot see mm-hmm. you have to measure and put in US dollars mm-hmm. <laughs> so in Euro on mm-hmm. Vietnamese and when they put it on the table they will see mm-hmm. so what you just suggested actually mm-hmm. totally um, you know on the same page as what, what we were thinking but it's really in- inspiring to, to, to hear that from you as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. so um, I think that uh, uh, it's really exciting that um, you know gender equity is coming to Vietnam starting to become something really cliche <laughs> some things you know you you talk about it and you truly don't know what I mean but all the efforts come from embassy like um, your embassy and then other organization actually get it with us now it's very familiar terms mm-hmm. and it's getting to real um, real work mm-hmm. you know when you know the world of work changing and it's really changing really fast mm-hmm. uh, new challenge come after challenge and um, Uh, what is your advice? What is your piece of advice for mm-hmm. you know Vietnamese um, you know women mm-hmm. mostly at work, mostly who struggling, who still struggling, who if they're lucky enough to you know watch the the clip of with you, your advice in here, mm-hmm. they will be able to um, find some way out to 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 thrive, mm-hmm. not just survive mm-hmm. at work. Mm-hmm. And so, what is the piece of advice uh, from you to them? Well, I think it's important to um, be confident in yourself and not to think because you're a woman that mm-hmm. you need to adapt into a male work environment. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that can have a huge shift in terms of thinking patterns, um, that women shouldn't be expected to adapt to you know, a male business world. Mm-hmm. Women may act and think in, 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 in slightly more creative ways or, or innovative ways. And that's something uh, very important and very valuable that they, that they bring. Um, and that they should see themselves as agents of change um, mm-hmm. and not feel that they have to uh, that they have to compete with men it shouldn't be a competition um, mm-hmm. uh, it should rather be a collaboration, collaboration. Mm-hmm. Um, and and the other point then being that don't think that you have to be the perfect everything um, at home and at work that's 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 really important key word about not can be too perfect mm-hmm. that's what i will see every single woman struggling with being mm-hmm. you know becoming so perfect <laughs> in at any means mm-hmm. and and that actually i i, I realize that's maybe happened to me as well is one of a issue that we have to go through because you know if we don't really believe in ourselves mm-hmm. we cannot change and then we cannot do anything for ourselves first mm-hmm. and then this is a um, platform called we for uh, women for women mm-hmm. it's actually put the power of women in the sense that knowledge is power mm-hmm. and if we have more knowledge uh, about what we think what we comparable with the man mm-hmm. we can collaborate with them Otherwise, it's uh, going to be competing mm-hmm. <laughs> or running or hiding or avoiding. Mm-hmm. It's not collaborating. Yeah. We would love that we have more uh, women at work who would understand this message mm-hmm. and really get into their, their, their real work and life mm-hmm. and make it balance or make it great. Mm-hmm. Not, not perfect, but great. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much, great. Ambassador, for your time and My your pleasure. wonderful um, uh, thought and, and insight. And all the best to your um, time in Vietnam. And thank you again for all of your support and uh, continuous um, you know, contribution for the development of Vietnam. Thank you.